Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create Dutch gable roofs and you'll notice here I have a Dutch gable roof with an overhang, I have a Dutch gable roof in filled and I'm going to show you how I'm going to create this. So first things first, I'm going to use my select tool which is spacebar and I'm going to select a face. I can select multiple faces by clicking shift and I'm going to create my roof. So right click, roof, create roof and go submit. Now I have my roofs created. Now. I can close this tool now and I can right click on my roof and go down to roof and I can go down to the option here that says add Dutch gable or multi pitch. I left click on that and I choose a face that I want to create a Dutch gable on. In this case it's the hip end. And the first one I'm going to create I'm just going to, to eyeball it freehand. Right. And I'm choosing my 90 degrees is the Dutch gable. You always have to have 90 degrees for a vertical face. What overhang type do I want to have down to the roof face and do I want to have an overhang and at the moment I've got it at 600 mil. Do I want to include fascia for my gable? You'll notice when you hover over these things it'll actually show you what that means. Do I want to keep face or remove face? I'm going to keep my face and go submit. Now by keeping the face it actually put in this infill here and you'll notice I have a level Dutch gable but when I go to my next one I'm going to left click and I'm actually going to my gable overhang is 600, but my gable offset is 600, and that's what infilled that there. So I'm going to go back to zero, so just take that out of there, and I'm going to go submit, and you'll notice that now I have an overhang on my Dutch gable. I'm going to go along to my next roof here, and I'm going to left click it, and I'm actually going to uh, remove keep face, and go submit, and now you'll notice that I don't have a face inside of my Dutch gable. Now if I go spacebar and click outside of it, over this side I'm going to show you how to set a gable back a set distance, so for accuracy. And then in this case I'm going to use my tape measure tool, which is here or here. And I'm going to click on this black line there, and that is the fascia line, that lines up with the fascia, okay? So I'm going to click on the midpoint of there, you know, you can see that I've got a purple dot. Now if I left click and I move this along on this line, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner here I have a distance. If I type in that distance, it's going to say a meter, 1000 millimeters, enter. And now I actually want to go vertically up. So I've left clicked again and I'm going to click my up arrow, which enables me to go and click on my roof. And now what that's done is it's constrained a line to the roof. Now when I right click my roof, go roof, add Dutch gable. I can now click to that point. Left click, choose your overhangs that you require, and go submit. Okay. Now the distance from my Dutch gable, I'm going to get a line out of my green axis, shift to here. You'll notice when I dimension that line, I have one meter set back to my Dutch gable. Alright guys, hope it helps. Cheers.